I love this. <laughs> you know SpongeBob, how do they do that? Hello, thank you for watching. If you're new here, my name is Audrey and this channel is all about beauty and lifestyle. And if you're coming back, thank you so much. I appreciate you more than you know. But today's video is going to be all about my nighttime skincare routine. I do have oily, acne prone skin, which sucks. So obviously none of this is sponsored. I only have 73 subscribers, but I did this past couple months. I'll insert some cup pictures here because it's uglier over here. So I'll insert some pictures here of just how bad my acne was or videos. I have really bad hormonal acne and it was to the point where there would just be like a couple, like five cysts, cystic acnes on my face at a time and they would never come to a head. It would just get big and then go away. But I am still struggling with finding a good, taking away the redness, you'll see when I take my makeup off. And a lot of the stuff that has actually helped clear my skin is because of skincare by Hiram here on YouTube. He is such a good YouTuber. He's all about ingredients. Ingredients don't lie, bitch. And he's all about them. He doesn't really care about the foo-foo, smelly, fancy stuff. You know, this costs like 150 bucks. He's recommended stuff to me personally <laughs> that has cost like five bucks compared to stuff that's like 50 or 60. Like, what are your options here? What are you gonna do? So anyway, this is hopefully going to be a video that he may have the chance to react to. And if you do, Hiram, I love you. You have made me a skincare drunk before, but I had no idea what I was doing until I found your channel. And I'm so grateful that I know and kind of have a clue of what means what and how it works and why it works. So here's my nighttime skincare routine. It's helped get rid of my horm hormonal acne, as well as, I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't a godsend. I got put on medicine and that was only two weeks ago. And this stuff, I've noticed a change before I got on the medicine that I'm on. It's like a I don't know, low dosage of something just because my hormones are out of whack. That's neither here nor there. Neither here nor there. So, here we go. First, you gotta put your hair up because I'm literally sweating. Okay, so the first thing I go in with is the Pond's Cold Cream. And I am just going to tell you right now, I bought this because Hiram said cold creams or balms or whatever, cleansing balm are better than makeup wipes to take off your makeup. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna buy one. I bought this, it was like the first one I saw. And then a couple weeks later, he came out with a video saying Neutrogena's is so much better. And this has like a plastic film that coats your face. I don't recommend it, but I'm not getting rid of it. I need to use it, I'm not about waste. I mean, look at my last video, I talked about wasting and how I'm not about. So I just get, honestly, a good amount in my hand. A girl wears a lot of mascara. So I get this amount and then I'm just gonna rub it into my, onto my face. And this stuff literally does melt away your makeup. It's wild. And also, don't forget your neck. I always put makeup on my neck, you know, because, like, you got to make sure it blends and it looks good, so. <laughs> you can kind of see the plastic and, like, how it's making the water stick to my skin. It's not fun. This has the... What does this have in it? You know what? Even if I found out, I wouldn't know how to pronounce it. Like, it starts with a P. It's, like, polyethylene or something. It's pretty much plastic. It's not good for the environment, so I'm definitely going to be getting one without that ingredient in here next time because it's a pain in the booty. It hurts my eyeballs. So next, I go in with a face wash after the cleansing balm, and I used to go in with the micellar gel wash, which I still have a tiny bit of this left, but like I said, my acne was getting out of control. I did use this for a couple months. It was great. It didn't make me break out or anything else, but I did want to use something that had um, specific for acne. This is what I'm using. I've never seen anybody recommend this, right? and it is newer to CeraVe. And I've been using this for about two weeks too, and I, I don't know, maybe it's a combination of everything that I've been doing, but holy guacamole, my skin has gotten so much better, like it's wild, and I'm so freaking appreciative of it. I love this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, SpongeBob, how do they do that? Okay, so now my, my face is all fresh and clean. Um, and you can still kind of see that I'm struggling with redness of the acne, like the actual pimp pimples are gone, but the red takes forever to go away. It stays there, I'm not kidding you, for like three weeks sometimes, and it pisses me off. <laughs> so after my face is all cleansed, I go in with the Inculus Retinol. 
Um, this is one that I know he's recommended and I know he likes, so. But I don't know what step because The Ordinary has some good retinols, but they're very high concentrated. Um, so I don't know what step to go to next. I really do think I'm gonna go in with with Paula's Choice Retinol. It's like a Bajuka Pakapuka, whatever it's called. I'm gonna go in with that next once I run out of this. Maybe I'll stay just one more, because this is my first bottle. I might stay just one more bottle and then another like that amount on my neck. Don't forget your neck. Your neck ages just as much as your face, okay? Okay, so now that the retinol's on, you can't even see when I try focusing this, but it's hyaluronic acid by The Ordinary. This just like takes water from the air pretty much and infuses it into your skin. Technical terms probably aren't right there, but um, it's supposed to hydrate your skin. You don't touch it to your face because bacteria can grow in the bottle, honey. Don't fall for those Instagram things. I learned that from Hiram. Um, so I put it on my hands and then I rub it on my face and on my neck too. Okay, so now that the hyaluronic acid is on, I have been searching YouTube for the red dots, you know, trying, trying to get them away as best as I can. And I've come across this Derma E Scar Gel. Apparently it's supposed to help and I've only been using it for like three days now, so I honestly can't tell you if it does help or not. But at this point, I'm willing to try anything. <laughs> I go in, sorry, I'm using the viewfinder. I don't use a lot of this because it's it's literally like a gel-like formula. Yeah, see, it's like a jelly in there. It's, it's very, it doesn't absorb the greatest either. So I focus it right here on the dots that are there. And then right here, because you can see those, you see multiple dots there. These ones have been here. These like, this cluster has been here for like four weeks. I'm not kidding. It's, <sighs> we don't need to talk about it. Obviously I'm upset. <laughs> and then finally for the face moisturizer, I go in with the e.l.f. Happy Hydration Cream. So yeah, this has like niacinamide and zinc in it, which are really good for helping control your sebum and making sure you're not as oily and stuff like that. Um, and also help with redness and irritation. So your girl get, can get a lot of that. I'm not kidding. Okay, and that is all that I do for my nighttime skincare care routine. I hope that you kind of found some products here that might help you. And then quickly, just to sum up, I'm not gonna do it on my face. My daytime skincare routine is I go in, because I do have acne prone and oily skin, I do wash twice a day. So in the morning, I do go in with this again. And then I just go in with niacinamide and actual drop forms. This is zinc as well. This is, like I said before, helps with um, sebum, making sure you're not as oily with sensitivity, redness, stuff like that. So this is great. I highly recommend this. And then after I do that, I go in with the peptide moisturizer by the Anculist. It's like you pump it out like this. It's so freaking cool. So this is for anti-aging as well. Drunk Elephant has a really good one that everyone raves about, but Drunk Elephant doesn't have the best. They're not good to their customers. <laughs> so I don't really, I don't know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't pay the price either because it's like triple this amount. So this is just a cheaper version. I am liking it so far. I think that once I'm done with the e.l.f. Happy Hydration, I'm gonna switch this out, put it in as my nighttime moisturizer and then use a sunscreen as my moisturizer during the day. Not there yet though. Still gotta work through the products, so I'll get there. But yeah, so I go in after the niacinamide with this on my face. And after that, I go in with this. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce the name. If you can't see it, I'll enter it in on the bottom. This is supposed to help with the texture of your skin, which I have noticed a difference. Um, my blackheads, which are under the skin, I don't know if you can see them, these like little freaking dots. That for instance, I don't know how to get rid of them. And I can't pop them, they're just under the skin. It's very frustrating. So I was hoping this would help and I have noticed the difference. It seemed like more of them come quicker to the head and I haven't gotten any more. So it is it is definitely helping, it's just not as quick as I was hoping. And that is it for my nighttime get on ready with me video. If you enjoyed this video, please like it. Comment below any of your skincare recommendations for me. If you have anything to help with all this stuff happening on my face, definitely put the comments below. I would greatly appreciate it. And also comment your favorite skincare product. I think that would be awesome. And thank you for watching.